Well, good afternoon, campers. Well, it's not quite afternoon yet. Where, um, where are we to, Ron? Um, Odium. Odium? Odium, yeah. Near Basin. Well, yeah, near Basin. So we walked down to the canal. And um, I was just saying to... Do you want to say, oh, see, old Ron's up summer issue. He said, this is it now, look. Socks. Um, no, sandals, no socks. Yeah, he's not socks with sandals. Sandals, no socks. <laughs> like he's fucking normal, he is. And, um, yeah. He's... Uh, Got his fucking. Gear on. It's not Bermuda top, is it? It's what they call it. This is me Magaluf clothes. Oh, Magaluf clothes, yeah. And I was just saying to him, the canals down where I am. Obviously, nothing comes up and down here, but I've never seen a canal as clear as this. But we're having a walk down to the. Um, it's almost like a pond. It's worse. Well, nothing's gone by, so nothing's turned it up, has it? Oh, Ron's, Ron's done a video, but you don't want to put it up because he's shy. Yeah. Isn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Where we're to, I don't know. Uh, how far down does this castle live? Oh, it's a little walk. Not too far. I'm not going to give you a piggyback if you get tired. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was just saying when they weighed me, and I was 16 stone 7. I was 26 stone at about 2005. No, no, before that, about 2002. But I'm not sure uh, what anybody can see here. You think they cut this down yeah. a bit, really? Yeah. See, old Ron's shy, see, because he usually holds me hand. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> he usually holds me hand when he go back, doesn't he? Anyway, I'll leave this at this. I'm going to try and cut these together, so I'm not going to say goodbye. But goodbye. Well, we're about two or three miles down the towpath. Well, I split it for a few hundred yards. Anyway, Ron's just said that we'll get our first glimpse. You'll point out the castle. There you go. Oh, it's there. Up. The reckless, he reckless nearly finished. Yeah, got to put the roof on. Yeah, yeah got to get the roof. <laughs> well, I don't know where we're to. In the middle but of you... Oh, sorry, mate. Thank you, thank you. So it's only really tires then. Yeah, this is Bondi Ron. Odium Castle, welcome. Odium Castle. Place you've never been but in a year. Yeah, oh yeah. Call that in long, is it? 1973 to 1998. No. Is it? That's not very long. Fucking a life, is it? You can't call that a life, can you? What beautifully uh, engraved. Probably done by the same person. Yeah. In loving memory of Peg and Billy and Bill. But Ron was saying that um, there's a boat down here, but you don't very often get boats down here, which by the this, the water, I don't know if you can still see how clear that is. He hasn't moved for a while. So I used to live on narrow boats, so I know these, I know these things. What's happening? Nails. Oh, I, I, that'll be a, that'll be a, a track in number four. And then you'll go on and you'll, you'll find number five or you'll find number three, depending on which way you're going. Yeah. King John's Castle. Yeah. Anyway, Ron was down here surveying this last week, and apparently they're coming down to put the roof on. I was thinking about buying it as a fixer upper. <laughs> yeah, that's easy. Fuck me, the thickness of those walls. Yeah, you wouldn't get a bow and arrow through that, would you? No. So that's all it is then? Well, yeah, that's all that's left. You can walk in there around the other side. Yeah. Yeah, if you go up here, look, there's a little thing explaining it. Oh, yeah. A little viewing point, and it tells you what it was like. And I just realised I could bloody see through that, you know. Yeah. And if you can make this out, the ruins seem to be a major part of the English pageantry of the 13th and 14th century. I even show the kings and queens suffering sieges. Get that nice and steady then. And if you want to shut it down and read it, you can. 
I personally am not interested. And apparently, when you sit uh, on these fences here, see these fences? So you're not allowed to ride a motorbike on the walls, it says no scrambling on the walls. Oh. When you sit at these benches and you look through that screen while it's perspex, that's what it would look like if it was still standing. Oh, I got you. That's the idea of that, I believe. Oh, yeah. Whichever sort of bench and that's... Oh, I, I see, you get the idea, yeah. Yeah, so that's what it would have looked like when it was there. Cool, that one's definitely on a totter, isn't it? That yeah. one there. Better than Stonehenge. Look at the holes up there with the thickness of timbers when yeah. for the floor, look. Yeah, of course, if, them, if that floor came across there, right across that span, they'd want to be a fair bit of timber, wouldn't yeah. they? Yeah. Yeah. Funny, King John's supposed to come here. What's the shed then? Uh, I don't know. But the moat used to go right out here. You can see a depression further down there, so it used to be quite big. Yeah. With the moat all the way around the outside. Cool, I'm surprised how cool that is under these trees. See, if you look all the way around the outside, you've got like a depression there. Oh, it? yeah, of course, yeah, where the moat would be. A little stream, and so it, quite, it would span quite a big area. Yeah. This them birds. I usually go listen to birds and it all goes fucking quiet. I don't know where they put them off there. Stop going on a motorbike, I suspect. They didn't know all that shed thing. Take two footage. No sandals with no stops. Doesn't help with the stinging that one, you know? No. Come cool, on, I'm just going to put, I put this bloody black shirt on this morning. I think you know I'm going to be out wandering about. Oh, they closed it. Last oh. time I came in, you could get in there. Oh, sod that. So Ron's over the gate. Whoa! Hang on. Got to sort his, sort his goods out. Oh, I see what you mean. That's only one bar, isn't it? I must be I must be taller than you. Yeah. Don't even mind Nazra dangling on that. Yeah, we're gonna go in and have a look because we're fucking rebels. They repaired it in 1216, 12, 12, so that's how old it is. 1216. That's when it was repaired. What's 1216? So long time ago, isn't it? Yeah, that's just after midday, isn't it? Yeah. Perhaps they're a local boy. King John, that is a bit about King John over here. Because look, there's a... Uh, Look at that with a bit of chimney up there. 1207 to 1214 they built it, this place. 1207 to 1214. Yeah, so that's nearly that two years ago, isn't it? That's nearly two hours. <laughs> yeah. They signed the Magna Carta or something. I reckon this ground level is higher than what it used to be because that would have been a doorway, look. Yeah. And that's quite low, isn't it? Yeah. Lewis launched an attack on Odium in 1216. The siege took place here lasting two weeks when the defenders were allowed to surrender with honour. The English were amazed to find only 13 English soldiers present. On King George's death in 216, his son Henry became King of England, the owner of Odium Castle. Road from here to Runnymede, where you can see that and read it all out yourself, can't you? Yeah, that's what I was saying, yeah. I wonder if they got it blocked off because it's dangerous in here or because it might have been over all the COVID. Well, I don't know. It, one lockdown I came up here and it was all, it was all open, so I'm yeah. obviously going to try and do some repairs. <laughs> A bit fucking late now, isn't it? Hey, what, do, do, every, do every six centuries? Yeah. So don't worry about people taking bits of stone off this, look, like stone ends. What is that then? Well, they don't bother, do they? They're well, no. Not a lot of people know about it. Right. So that's a bit of the size of it. So uh, we'll stop this one here and maybe start it again. Oh. And I'll speak to you uh, when I speak to you. Odium Castle, over and out. Well, good afternoon again. 
birds. We've just gone down, and I've never seen this before, but we're down at a basin where they, uh, on this Basingstoke Canal. Is that what it's called, the Basingstoke Canal? Yeah. Yeah, down, down here. And if you can see over there, there's actually a river that, um... Oh, there we are. Good afternoon. Hi there. Hi there. Are looking at an aqueduct here? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, it's not a very not a very high one though, is it? With, with, hmm? It's not a very high one. No, no, not no. very high. No, no, no. <laughs> no, I was just saying down where I come from, down near Melksham, they got one that goes across the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the yeah. other side, it's over there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we say this is interesting though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. River, river this is the canal that goes over yeah. the river. Yeah, river white water. It's a, it's a chalk stream. Yeah. yeah. Bet some trout in there, isn't there? It might be actually. Yeah. But I mean, I've never, I've never seen a canal so clear as this. But obviously, it don't get used. Yeah, it stops there, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, there's a. Yeah. All right. Nice to meet you. Have a nice walk. So that's what you do. You come down here and turn around. But this is private fishing, no public access. So um. We're having a look. You don't mind if I... I won't put you in it. You don't mind if I video your boat, do you? No. Yeah. I can remember... I can remember one time we were uh, out with Dreams. My mate bought one. And this little... How are you doing? Where did come from? We did bite up there. Yeah, oh, I see. Four years ago, but now we're based on the river way. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, oh, right. Cool. So Surely you haven't come all the way, so I was going to say, that's too much, too far. <laughs> Lovely. It took us five weeks to get back from there. <laughs> yeah, that's right, I said, that's what I thought, what? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's about 36 miles to the actual way, isn't it, from here? Yes. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. we've cycled it several times. Yeah. yeah. But we always come back on the train. Yeah. Well, they've got a boat, so that's all right. Lovely. After 36 miles, I've had enough. Even on the flat. Yeah, um, I was sat on there with Bill, my mate, in on Dreams, and this little Japanese type chap said, Would you mind? I've got some people with me, would you mind if we had a look at your boat? And he went, No. So we're sat at the front. I'm sat at the front. He goes in the back and he said, I'll go through there and just walk through. Mm -hmm. So they come doing, I'm at the front of the boat, saw these boats doing this. Mm -hmm. There was 37 of them. <laughs> <laughs> and they literally just, yeah. just come marching through, you know, thank you. Oh, it was a polite, thank you very much, it's you know. It's fascinating to see yeah. what you can get on the boat. I mean, yeah. Quite a thing. Yeah. If they were liverboards before who we bought it off of. But, peop but, but people would never walk up to your house and say, can I have a look at your kitchen? No. You know, but people would go, do you want to have a look? You know, it's a public Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, lov it's, it's, it's lovely, paint nice. lovely painted. He's just cleaned it. Well, we just... Hello. Oh, <laughs> well, you don't only look nice, you smell nice. <laughs> Good man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm going to say, because, um, yeah, because we've both got camper vans. You know, you know, I say I get used in the shower and what have you. Yeah, after 10 years of this, we might get a camper van, because then that opens up a whole other new world. Yeah. Yeah. What, I, what I've done is... Um, Basically, I got rid of my I got rid of my boat when I gave up drinking because then I could get the camper van. I'd go where I want and never, 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 yeah, never worried about drinking and driving or anything like that. But it's a really lovely looking boat. But my mate um, had one done in he, it's Italian for carp, cap, caporis, capri or something it was called, and he had it all done like a car, painted. Then he had it all sprayed, and then he had a, a chap come along who was a, a painter. And I actually put the lines back on it, yep. you know. So it, so, it, so yeah, yeah. So if you ever, so if you ever scratches it, you can always repair it. But I, I mean, because that's just sprayed, isn't it? This yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I noticed when I done mine, we got that grey stuff because mine, mine was uh, just maroon, and we put the grey on the top, and we rolled it on, and you could see all the roller marks and everything. But after a month, they all disappear. Because it, it all dries through, doesn't it? You know, it just dries out. But I don't know if you've noticed the grey posts with a green top, and you're walking along, and they're just doing sort of edges. No. They're, they're mile markers. Oh, yeah. To the beginning of the um, canal. Yeah. So the one just sort of up there, I think you just see it on the bend. So it's 49, 49 kilometres to the riverway. That way. Uh, 
That way. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. 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 And then you can trundle all the way down, 49 kilometres that way. That's a shame, really. And that's, what, that's, that's the whole length of it. It's very long. Yeah. As you walk, it would be nice to go under there, but they've closed it. Yeah. Years, yeah, I was going to say, because when I was, when I was on the Kent and Avon, yeah, I mean, I was on there, I had six years on one boat, four years on another, and the farthest I went was Honey Street, up above the Voices, and Bristol Docks, you know, because... I mean, you go go shopping in Bath from Trowbridge, yep. and you have a day down there, a day shopping, and a day coming back, and then you then you allow another day for rain. So it, so it's a weekly it's a weekly thing. Yeah. 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 Anyway, it's nice to meet you. Thank you. Speak yeah. to you again. Bye bye. Yeah. Yeah. You're beautifully painted. Lovely, this is a flat it's bottom it's girl. Yeah, oh, yes, nice. Yeah. Leather chair yeah that's a lot of fucking money you're Yeah. Good afternoon. Hello, yeah, that's that's uh, they spent a lot of money on that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you can tell by the critch at the front. Yeah. The see see the quality of the the quality of the actual piece made. Oh, looks new, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is nice, though. Hey, anyway, peeps, we'll speak to you again. I think I'm going to be able to get these together. It's going to be quite a long one, though. Speak to you later. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Again, campers. That's three little videos. Well, three long videos, about six minutes. One's about the castle, and one's about the. I don't know what I'm telling you this for because this will be at the end. And um, one's about the castle, one's about the canal, and viaducts, all sorts of different things. So I'll speak to you all later. And um, well, no, I dare say I could put this on the front, can I? So enjoy the videos. Anyway, good afternoon, campers. Again, and um, this is the tail end of it. That was three videos. Um, me and Ron's down here. We've just passed that little boat up the end there and we're sat here and having a rest and we're going to get back to the vans um, we just looked at Odium Castle and what have you and we'll speak to you all later remember stay classy no fighting we love you all and you skins bye bye <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I got tagged in an absolute beauty on Facebook last night, post from Lad Bible, and they were talking about the origins of your nickname. But I'm going to read a few of these out for you. Jay, you haven't seen any of these. I've hidden them from mm. you. My dad had a mate who's got half his ear missing, and his nickname is 18 months because he's only got an ear and a half. <laughs> uh, had a boss called Drillbit because he's a small, boring tool. <laughs> Richard Henderson writes, I work with a guy who had one big hand and one small hand. He was known as the clock. Darren Allen writes, I knew a fellow whose nickname was Uncle Ben's because he had a cyst removed from his sack. Um, a boil in the bag. <laughs> Ma Mark O'Brien <laughs> Mark O'Brien writes, worked in a factory and there was this guy called Keith there. Took me ages to realise that his real name was Keith, but he had an eye missing. <laughs> And then one final one as well. This is from Lab Bible. Oh. There's a guy at work that has one leg shorter than the other, which causes his head to bob side to side. So they call him, they call him the sniper's nightmare. Good afternoon, camper. So we were at... Um the river to the white witch the water witch the summit at Odium we've just been down the oh let me move my leg we've just been down the canal I had a little walk we went across to Odium Castle I'm trying to do all these videos but I can't seem to get them right the Ron's doing the summit but we're we're stacked up in the car park here so what's happening I don't know but here he comes with all his uh, his white legs his lovely white legs <laughs> Yeah. They're shiny, aren't they? They're not just white legs, they're shiny white legs. Isn't it wrong? <laughs> yeah, shiny white legs, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so we just uh, gone in and had a pint of shandy. Nothing else. I've done a video and stuck it on, and uh, it was 70 minutes long, and it's come out as 23 seconds or something, so that's, that's not going to happen. So, um,. They've got water in there with outside written on it. Water witch, that's what it is. That's what we're to. 
Very posh little place. Yeah, very posh is. Suits me and Ron down to the ground. Mind you, nine pound forty for two fucking shandies. I think you fucking should. <laughs> uh, I thought I when he came out, I said that was all right. Well, five pound forty, and he went no, it was nine pound. So, so I misheard what he said. I thought five pound forty. Fucking that's that's all decent price. But we're up in the stockbroker belt. Stockbroker belt, and we. That's why I um. It's all a bit. I said no, don't eat here. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, don't eat here. So we, if we eat here today, then we can't eat again till Friday. What day is it today? Thursday. Yeah, we can't eat again till Sunday. <laughs> if we eat here. Uh, yeah, we've had a little walk about what Odium Castle. That was all right, wasn't it? Yeah. Quite um, quite a cheap sport. 12 summit they built it, and 14 summit rather they finished it. So it only took a couple of hours. 1427 till, was it? No, 1227 to 1427. Where did they get the flints? Were they from Wales? Who knows? Yeah, I don't know. You know see, there ain't no flint around here. No, it's not a flint area. No. This is what they serve you dinner on, these slates. Shut up. And that's why you pay a lot of money, because it's served on a slate. Well, serve you dinner on a piece of roof. <laughs> I don't want I want one on a fucking plate. I don't want one on a piece of roof. Anyway, peeps, we'll leave you go on and you can get on. We'll speak to you later. So remember, stay classy and fighting and love you all. And you. And you. Skins. Skins. <laughs> well, good afternoon, campers. There's a... Uh, oh, it's fucking dead the way up, isn't it? Good afternoon, campers. It's about two o'clock, I think. We're uh, um, just across the road from the Water Witch. Oh, you know, Ron, we're sat about here. And he's just reading all about the canal here. And uh, they built 37 miles of canal. It only cost hundred and fifty-four thousand four hundred and thirty six four hundred and sixty-three pounds. So um there you go. But this is where we're to. But there's a big car park over there. But you can't get into it because it's all been blocked off. There's a Ron sorting his bank account out. There's a monkey up the tree. Yeah, there's a monkey up the tree. It's like a bloke up there. Yeah, he's two. Oh, he's two in that gap. Go up this way, look. Right? You see the boat. Yeah, because if he... Um, that's the thing in a basin stoke canal. We are there. Um, you can hire boats apparently up here. You see, I just said it wrong. If you hear a splash, then the wood he's cut in has fallen into the canal. If you were a splash, and then you're, ouch! Then the bloke fell on the canal and the fucking branches fell on top of him. You can hire a boat here. Why not get fucking involved in that? We want with a motor on, Ron, don't we? Ron. One with an engine. What? One with an engine. Hmm? One with an electric motor on, it's about 15 pounds for half an hour, I think. Oh. There's a wide body one there at dawn. That's about all there is in yeah. this area. Yeah. That's about, oh, that's about, um, the size of a lady, um, Good afternoon, that green one on the end. 35 foot. Yeah. I think you can, you can rent them out. What? Them little boats over there, them little narrow boats. Yeah, yeah. That's worth about 80 or 90 pound a day, I suspect. But then again, if there's six of you, it's not too bad, is it? So what was this then? 
That's the um, canoe club apparently. Oh, huh? This must be closed with the COVID. Yeah, why the fence though? Oh, perhaps they keep the canoes in there. Yeah. Yeah, walk a bit in there. Yeah, so that car park station right over there, right the way around the back of there. That'd be a nice park. Yeah. If you could get in there. Well, yeah, we can, can you? So. So, well, some under or some under two, two point one meters, isn't it? Yeah. Well, you parked up on the road there. The other way round wouldn't be bad, would it? Anyway, that's about the size of it. So I don't know what we're going to get, what videos we're going to join together, what we're not. So I'll speak to you all later, remember. Anyway, we're going to watch this bloke do this and see if he fucks off out of the tree. Here it goes. Bombs away. And that was that. Anyway, speak later. Look after each other. Love you all. Stay classy. No fighting. Bye bye. And you skins. <laughs>